is our first speaker, Alan Fiha. Thank you, Tina. Well, welcome everyone for coming today on such a, a cool morning. Uh, I think next week it's going to be spring like, so we'll look forward to that. Today we're really excited uh, to share with you some of our initial plans for the North York project. It's a 42 acre residential community that we located right here on this site. We are reclaiming and redeveloping a significant area. It's an industrial black brownfield that will be converted to residential uses. The North York project will feature 4 million square feet of living spaces, a mix of low and high rise buildings, an 8 acre park, a community center, daycare, an elementary school, retail shops, a range of retail shops including restaurants and a food store. The architecture will be spectacular. It will be a collection of modern buildings designed by uh, some of Canada's most celebrated architects, one of whom is here today, Brian Kirker from Quadrangle. Um, Concord Adex and Concord Pacific are Canada's largest high-rise developers. We build communities across Canada. I don't know if I'm having a chance to, in Vancouver to see our Falls Creek project. It really transformed that part of Vancouver, the Falls Creek area. And downtown here in Toronto at uh, the City Place project, and now here in North York. We're really excited about the future of this development. It's going to be a terrific community, and we look forward to seeing many of you again and again as the project unfolds. I'd now like to introduce Dennis R. Young, our VP of Finance and Administration. Thank you, Alan. The Comba ADES North York project is being developed with a focus on being part of the local community. Conquer ADES will try our best efforts to connect ourselves to the North York community. We will support all appropriate community activities and also will support charitable organizations in this area as an initial step and to celebrate today's event we are making a donation of twenty thousand dollars to one of our neighbors Lord York General Hospital today today's press conference is to announce a community based Naming contest for our larger project. We encourage our local residents and community members to participate in this naming contest and give your valuable inputs to our project. How to participate in this naming contest? Okay, during this contest period, that means from tomorrow up to March 30, 2007. You can visit our website www.concordnamingcontest.com and you can submit your entry online. You can also visit our kiosks established in two shopping malls. One is in Fairview uh, Fair Mall. Fair Mall. <laughs> the other one is in Bayview Village Shopping Center. You can submit your uh, entries there and there will be Concord representative at these locations to help you and a souvenir will be given to you after you have made a submission at the uh, kiosk. And furthermore, we have sent out some uh, entry forms to local residents in, in Ward 24 and they can just fill in and mail it back to us. In early April, the entries will be reviewed by a panel of judges from community members and experts. The following are the members of the panel of judges. David Shirley, City Councilor from Ward 24. Keith Lakin, President of Willowdale Group of Artists. Debbie Bowden, Editor in Charge of Love Your Mirror. Dan Martin, Chair of the Institute of Communication and Advertising. Connie Sefton, Assistant Manager and Head of the Eastern Operation of Fairchild Television, and Danny Sao Young, Vice President, Finance Administration of Conga ADEX. The winner of the Limit Contest will receive a state of art home entertainment system 
value at ten thousand dollars. Furthermore, ten entries will be drawn from the pool, and each of them will receive a gift certificate from IKEA for two hundred dollars. And we welcome and encourage all residents in the law York to participate in our limited contest. Thank you. I would like to introduce Mr. David Schreiner, Council for uh, Walk 24, to come up to give a speech. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you very much. Um, it's great to be here and be here on behalf of uh, an absolutely wonderful community here in Willowdale. Uh, Navy Village to the north, to the east, to the west. We have wonderful neighbors all around. Now I think we're welcoming in a new developer to the area, who I hope as well will also be a, a wonderful part of this community and add to us. Um, I don't know if many of you know the history of this site, but Leslie and Shepherd was formerly the uh, small town of Clarkston, and later on uh, it became Oriole Village. And if you look at the map behind us, you see what I was showing you is that this is an industrial site in the middle of wonderful residential communities. And what Concord ADEX is going to do is take it back to a wonderful residential community. Now, the former site of Clarksville ended up being Oriole Village, and it had in it a blacksmith shop, a school, a general store, and blacksmith shop, a school, a general store, well, there's a fourth one, okay. We had a school, a general store, a blacksmith shop. No, there was no pop. It was actually a dry community. They wouldn't allow alcohol in here. But it, it was a wonderful place in the community that grew up around here over many years. And then 50 years ago, oh, and the church. That's right. And the church was on the site. Now, the school, will be, the school may come back. The community center may be here. Uh, we don't know about the pub in the future. But it was an absolutely wonderful village on the site. And then 50 years ago, in 1957, is when the Beals family bought the site and opened it up as their warehouse and turned it into an industrial and a commercial site. And a few years later, it opened a store up here. And now they've sold it. And now we expect it now to come back to the community. So it's great to be involved in this process. It's great to know that uh, we're going to take the old Canadian tire site and change it into something that's going to have a new name, represent this community, and be part of it. And uh, I really look forward to a good relationship between the developer uh, and the communities as we go forward. We appreciate the opportunity to be here today. Thank you. What's the total investment budget, and also what's the, the time span for the whole project? We are going to invest two billion in this project and the time span we expect will be around 10 years. Actually, uh, all the local residents are welcome and encouraged to participate but outside the, this area you are also can sub uh, submit your names to me, not through them. <laughs> <laughs> residential community moved back into a place that was formerly residential and was previously known as Oriole Village. There were concerns about the amount of development that was here and there was, as I said, two years worth of public consultation 
and in the end, the council approved the site and the community supported the redevelopment of the site. Did they stop to propose this five years ago? Over that, in the, about five, six years ago, the site itself was approved for redevelopment. What about a general response from the residents in this area? They were very much involved in the review of it. We spent two years working with the communities and the residents on working groups and charrettes and public consultation to design the site, to put the location of the park, the taller buildings along the 401, the lower buildings along Shepherd Avenue. And that's the plan that Concord is going forward with now, is to build what was approved in the past and to complete the process that Canadian Tire began, to bring this back to a residential community. I'm sorry? What's your personal view about like, bringing the profitable developer like Concord to your work? Well, so far they've been good to work with. I look forward to a relationship where Concord Index listens to the community, understands their concerns, and deals with their concerns as we go forward, and proves himself to be a good neighbor. This project has 四十二个Acre,就我们打算在这个Acre就发展大概二十座高层或者低层的住宅 成功到跟其他地方差不多買了這個西方來的 大概會用十年時間發展,會用二十億去發展這個project 大型的住宅項目,這個交通這麼方便,也可以用到TTC的設備的設備 他們希望我們給多一點意見我們的。我們的交通建設的問題是什麼呢? 我們會再有很多 帶給Love 
concordpacific.com 或者 concordcitypress.ca 咧，都可以聯絡到我哋，或者嚟到我哋暫時喺丹餐嗰個 Concord City Place 嘅 office 咧，都可以聯絡到我哋。我哋第日咧就會喺喺翻呢個 lobby 嘅西咧，都會有一個 sales office， 但係呢個咧就要喺幾個月後先至有啦。多謝曬你。